What's up, guys? Double Chain News Times, Mike. It's Dan. Hello. Th this is crazy. Guys, it happened again. The world has been struck by Chinese tourists. 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 Yeah. Oh. And, and in my stomping ground as well. Yours? What do you mean? My Your sanctuary oh. of, of food, which at, is a buffet. At a buffet, guys. Chinese tourists. Check out this video right here. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, this is full on MMA, like like food MMA, full contact buffet, you know, just royal rumble right here. We've been to a lot of buffets. Have you ever used the plate to pick up food in no, this manner? No, never in my never. life. Never seen it, never considered it was a possibility. Me neither. Because that's what tongues are for, that's what scoopy things are for. Well, even if there aren't tongs, which doesn't look like there's tongs provided, I mean, you still win. Yeah, I'm sure there are, but like it's probably gone to the wayside now because plates now dominate the right. world. <laughs> but guys, I I mean I've been i I've been out so many times, I never even fathomed that. And this is shrimp they're used. fighting for, right? Shrimp. I think it's yeah. shrimp. It looks like it's fried. Looks like it's like or or crispy or, or be, something. I don't know. Some kind of shrimp steamed or whatever. It's not shrimp cocktails is, is what we know. Yeah. Right? There's tons of it. And look at this woman basically like it looks like she's, you know how in, in McDonald's they have this uh, apparatus that scoops yeah. the fries and puts it, that's what it looks like she's doing. Yo, I want to know a couple of things. First of all, how much shrimp can you eat? Well, here's the other part of the story. Here's the other part. These people, these tur Chinese tourists were, first of all, this is in Thailand, right? right? Bangkok, Chiang Mai. Uh, they said that, um, the staff said that after they left, they, le they, they left all these leftovers. They left all the leftovers. So they didn't eat it all. It was just for the pure enjoyment of the, of the fight and the hunt. Yeah. Oh. And then like, look, look at these leftover food photos. I mean, they basically just took all the food and it was, it's like the last chance. It's, they were acting like it's the last chance they were going to get to eat. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, I saw, I saw something similar to this before. Not like, not to the, ex the extent in uh -huh. New York. Oh, really? There's a place that we like to go to called uh, Is it Ichi uh, Okay. It's a Japanese buffet thing, right? Right. And I remember at night, they would have like like one special dish. Okay. Um, oh, not just Ichi Umi, like other <laughs> other Chinese buffets I've been to before. Okay, you, you just know, you realized know, like, this. No, I realized I've seen it more than once. Ichi Umi, I saw, I've okay. seen it a lot. Right. Especially when things like lobsters come out. Okay? Right. So there used to be another place called Yeast Buffet um, in, in New York. The one that I like. The one that you like. Oh, they used to that's have like good. lobster, right? You know, the yeah. Chinese style yeah. scallion ginger lobster. Yep, yep, yep. So before the lobster comes out, yeah. like you can see like every watchful eye of the Chinese people person in the restaurant just yep. scanning for the lobster guy. And the lobster guy, whatever, whatever he is, puts, the, puts in the lobster. A line of people and then like stacks of plates. Each, each person, yeah. whoever gets there first is stacking like two plates. <sighs> and then when you get there, it's like no more lobster. It's so uncivilized and it, it really makes Chinese people look bad. And I, I mean, we know the reason. Look, it's all, to me, like, every, every bad, every bad, um, whatchamacallit, every bad action that comes out of Chinese people overseas is because of the Cultural Revolution, you know, people were suppressed, oppressed, you didn't have anything to eat, but even then, like, people acted more civilized. But what happened now? Well, just, just, first of all, um, there's no etiquette. Yeah. There's no etiquette. It's, it's, I mentioned this, um, in my vlog, uh, about when I went to Taiwan, I went to, like, uh, the Taiwan Palace Museum. Yep. And I went inside, I was so looking forward to it because I, I love Chinese culture, I love Chinese history. I go inside, is it's wall upon walls of Chinese mainland tourists. And as soon as I walk inside, I couldn't find a line. Because yeah. there was no line. Everyone right. was just cutting in line. Right. I couldn't even get in line. I was, I was like trying to wait in line, people were cutting in front of me. And when I got inside, there were signs everywhere that says no talking. Uh, loudly, no talking loudly. There was but talking. Was blaring, yeah. shouting, voices right. everywhere. Right. Um, people were like, you know, just lean against the glass, I can't see anything. It was the worst experience of my life in terms of uh, going to the museum. Right. And if I went to a buffet like this, I'll tell you this right now, if I went there, I saw that. I know what you would do. I would be so mad. You would, you would, would do so something. Upset. I'd be you so would, upset. You would actually say something to them. I say things now. I when I go to Flushing, and I have like some random people cut in front of me, like, 
Yo, just so happens, just happened just like last week. I was like, I was at a lamb noodle soup place. I'm in line, um, ordering my lamb, lamb noodle soup. A guy comes, comes in, right? Yeah. Walks right in front of me. He's like, lamb noodle soup. I'm like, excuse me, <laughs> sir. Uh, there's a line here. He's like, well, I just wanted to go. I'm like, uh, doesn't matter. There's, there's a line, so. I say things to them now because I'm like, look, if no one's gonna say anything to you, I'm gonna say something to you because sure. people should say stuff, stuff yep. to you guys that if you if you're acting like that, like that's that's a disgrace to yourself. Yep. That's a disgrace to the Chinese, Chinese people, people everywhere. So like, I mean, I shouldn't have to go to countries like Taiwan, Japan, Taiwan, Korea, and, and, or whatever. And, and like and like you know speak English because I, I didn't want them to <laughs> think about mainland tourists because that mainland happened. tourists act so. Horribly, uncivilized. So many, uh, so often. And I'll tell you guys right now. I feel like for us, we should speak out. Now you weren't mean about it. No, sure. no, I was nice about it. Yeah, you weren't gonna threaten the guy. No. I would definitely say something. I'd say it in a very nice manner, but I would let them know this is not. But okay. I, don't, I don't know if you're gonna say anything here because this, this is, no. this is Royal Rumble, man. This is like Monday Night Wrestling. I'll this tell you is what, crazy. Here, you can't say anything. I imagine what you would do, like, because basically, guys, you gotta understand. If Mike was at this place, these people are basically messing up his sacred palace of food. Yo, you would be so mad at this. A is my sanctuary. It, that's it. So you would, I think, I, and especially if that was like a dish you really liked. Yeah, I will have to leave. I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to leave. I can't stay there. Well, let us know your thoughts on the video in the comments, guys. Thanks so much for watching. See ya. Bye. Maybe, maybe you would get in between, like you flex your muscles. I think you it might just like- It doesn't even matter. These people like, they might between. even take a bite out of me. Who no. knows? I think you might be like this, because you're always wearing t-shirts, so you got your muscles showing. I think you get in the middle and you'd be like, guys, you can't do that with your plates, okay? Act civilized. You, you, would you yeah. do that? Yeah, they would like just take my shrimp off my plate and run away, probably. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think they'd be afraid of you.